Hi, I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and I'm going to show you how to use and generate patterns inside Photoshop. And we're going to start with these two flowers, which incidentally were AI generated in Photoshop. We'll go to the View menu and choose Pattern Preview. We get this warning saying that it works best with smart objects. That's OK. We can still work with any kind of layer to make these patterns. We'll say OK. And you can see this blue rectangle appearing around our image. If we zoom out, you can see our image is replicated all across the canvas. If we pick up one of the flowers and move it, it moves in all of the spaces. Rather interestingly, if we take it off the bottom of our image area, it comes back in at the top. And that's the way that pattern previews work inside Photoshop. Let's take a copy of this flower, hold the Option or Alt key to drag it. We'll make it smaller using Free Transform. And let's recolor it. And we'll do that with the Hue and Saturation adjustment. I'm just going to drag it to get a complementary color for our pink flower. With Option or Alt again, we can drag more copies around our canvas and we can place them wherever we like. Let's add some stalks behind these flowers to tie them together. So we'll go to the background, we'll make a new layer and we'll call it Stalks. I'm going to select a pale green colour and now with the brush tool we can paint behind these flowers. And note that when we go off, in this case the top, it comes back on the bottom. So we can paint right across our canvas as we join up all of these flowers. Let's add a couple of leaves. And there's our pattern looking a bit more like it could be proper wallpaper. The background is still white. Let's change that. We'll go onto the background. Let's choose a light yellow and fill the background with that colour. And the shortcut to do that is Option or Alt and Backspace. And that fills with the foreground colour. We can zoom out as far as we like and we can see the full extent of our pattern. Let's zoom back in again. So we've got it there. How do we now make it into a usable pattern? Well, first of all, we go to Select All. The image is all selected, and now we can go to Edit and choose Define Pattern. Let's call it Wallpaper and hit OK. So, how do we now use this pattern? Well, here's a picture of a room with a rather dull back wall. I've isolated this wall onto a separate layer now the easiest way to apply our pattern is to go to Layer, Layer Style and choose Pattern Overlay. This is the last pattern I used, it's a grassy texture. Let's change that to our new wallpaper pattern. Now clearly this is very much too big. We can make it smaller by dragging the scale slider. As we do so, it gets smaller and smaller. We can also use the cursor keys on the keyboard to make the pattern bigger and smaller. And that, I think, is a good size for this wall. I don't like the way that all of these flowers are in a straight line, so let's rotate the pattern slightly. And that looks much better as wallpaper. Now, the problem is we've swamped this wall with our wallpaper but we haven't got the shading showing through. Now it's a white wall with shadows, so let's change the blend mode of our wallpaper from normal to multiply. And now we can see the shading showing through on our wallpaper 
and it looks very much like it should belong in this room. And that's the easy way to make and use patterns in Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.